Hol den da quasi auf. Oh! Yo, what's up guys? It's one of my guests today. We're back on Fears to Fathom. Hopefully I said that right. My brother literally messaged me on Discord, right? Just to tell me that I said the name of the game wrong. Right after the video uploaded. Crazy, right? But yeah, we're going to be playing Fears to Fathom Episode 2, which can be the Norwood Hitchhike. I, I low-key did not know that we're gonna be playing so soon. But yeah, this game has changed a lot since I last played it, literally a week ago. <laughs> the graphics have changed. You can literally change um, the graphics in here versus when you play on episode one. Uh, I gotta say, join their Discord too. I forgot to link it last time, but I'm gonna link it this time. So we already played Home Alone now we're gonna be playing Norwood Hitchhike. 40 minutes. Oh boy. <laughs> Fears to Fathom. Episode 2. Norwood Hitchhike. June 16th. I forgot. This is based off of real horror stories. Uh, this happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. Hey. I'm 22. Was why, why, why did I say that? I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Anyways, I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help even just a little bit. Uh, I was one of those people that love gaming conventions like TwitchCon, Pat. <laughs> I go to every convention you want to get the chance to and sometimes meet some of my online friends. I have yet to meet my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going to interstate drives, the plane ticket would have been too expensive. That depends where you're at. This convention, uh, this convention I was at was great. And it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. What's the interstate? Of course, it's going to be horrible. I decided I'd take the long way to avoid traffic. Oh, like, um, what'd you call it? Those, like, those, those like, like, those dirt roads, right? Those dirt roads in the country. Me and my family actually uh, took one of those dirt roads, and we almost got lost somewhere in, in South Carolina one time. Oh, it was, it was kind of terrifying, not going to lie. It was a little over a 12-hour drive. Oh, we had to drive ourselves? Okay. This is creepy, man. Wait, how am I gonna check it? Uh, okay, a message from Aiden Williams. What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. That sucks. It's not too good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it, I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Jay, oh, it's from the dad. Oh, I forgot to scroll up. Okay, all right. Hopefully y'all, I'm gonna leave that there for y'all to read for a second. Oh crap. Bro. I just realized what I did that was wrong. I was checking my tets while I was driving. I'm only gonna leave this part in the video just as a IRL disclaimer. Do not check your phone while you're driving. Do not, uh, answer your phone while you're driving just wait after you get out of the car safely so you don't get into wrecks guys this is like a serious um uh bsa to everybody watching the video i know everything got really serious until i just realized why i died that's why i'm like okay let me let me get serious and, and tell y'all like, seriously don't 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 touch and drive oh that's the car that i hit i hit a van I'll check the tets after. I can't check the tets right now. I'm driving. Yo, this music sounds fire, but I hope I hope it doesn't. <laughs> hope it's not copyrighted. Near halfway to the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Ah, f ah, dang it. Oh god, I hope that's part of the song. That sounds kind of creepy. Another test message. I have to check that in a bit. Man, I hope the game isn't like isn't gonna have me. Oh. Oh, yo, that was somebody outside. Oh, gas station. I knew I saw somebody outside. I don't want to get out. Oh, there's some people in there. 
Thank God, ma'am. Okay, so I'm a female. Okay, okay. Didn't know. Uh, ma'am. Hi, I can't. Oh, another test message. Um, this one is from, from this person's mother. Uh, hi, can I get a $10 on pump two? Oh, I didn't know I had to select it. My bad. I did not know that. <laughs> Silence. What you being silent for, bro? Oh. Um, get into the bridge by yourself? Yes, why? Not a lot of people head down there at this time of year. Be careful. Yeah, I wonder what you mean. Uh, for a century now, many people have been going missing down there. The Wait, what? Hold on. Going missing? They be but people have been going missing? What? What? The heck? Okay. Oh, yeah, let's go, finally. Yeah. Okay, let me check the test messages from the mother. Uh, I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour or out of dog food. Could you get something for my lap? Pay you back. I wonder if I like, test them. I can't do it. And as soon as I say that, I see some dog food right in front of me, I think. Yep, that is dog food. Bruh. That'll be $5. For this? It's a lot for some dog food. Bruh, these people. This is probably one of the most interactive games I have played, I'm telling y'all. Being on the road, you realize the thing. Monsters truly. Oh, hell no. What the hell does that mean? Everything looks just like you and me. No. Why does she say that for? Bro, this game is terrifying me. I literally gotta get out my freaking car. Please, please, let me get back into the car. 10.43 p.m. Okay. All right. You know what's supposed to happen? Ooh. This girl, she's stuck. She's stuck in a very bad predicament, I might say. Yo, stop for me, bro. You're the girl from the gas station. It's that guy in the store. Why are you trying? What are you trying to do out here? I think my car broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Oh, I mean, I don't know about that. Where are you heading to? Dang. Okay. Yeah, you know, you're gonna rush me. I mean, I get it. You're taking a risk. You know, taking a hitchhiker, but sometimes, sorry. Finally, now hop in, be quick. Uh. Hello, motherfucker. Wait, what was that I just saw? What the heck? So, you won't tell me who you are and where you're going. If you say so. Uh, this makes me feel ten times more uncomfortable, even though I'm the one needing the ride. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? It never broke down like that before. Or it never broke down on me like that before. 
It's my dad. It's, it's pretty old. Hmm. So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Okay, isn't this the same dude who ghosted me twice when I try to ask him how he's doing and whatnot? Just as a friendly civilian? I don't, I don't get that. Now you want to ask me questions, my guy? That's tough. Um, He really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells me... Oh, idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. So is it... So is it true? What? The monster? Let's see. I've never seen that monster here for myself. There... But there are, there are some ter oh, hold on. there are some things, and I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this: you don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. I mean, didn't he say that? You know, I am sorry for being a jerk to you before. Okay, so you apologize. Okay, cool. I'm not. The best of people. So you're an introvert. Hmm. This dude is mighty top. Wait, why is it getting dark? Hey, yo. Hold on. Hold on. Why is it getting dark? Why is it getting dark? 12.08 a.m. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offer roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, quote, be careful of all kinds of people out there, he said anonymously before leaving. I think he was just giving a heads up on weird people because there are, I think he was just saying that because there are a lot of weird people out there in the world. Okay, I think he just left. Oh boy, so we're at a motel. Oh God, this man looked creepy. Gal need a room to shack up for the night. I'm starting to understand what he must be going through when when a dude creeps them out because this guy right here, I'm a dude and this man's already giving me creepy vibes, you know what I'm saying? But that's just because this is a horror game. Forty dollars for single. Pay cash only. Ha <sighs> pain. Room number nine. Or right over there. Never mind, I'll just close it. I don't care. Oh, there's a towing service dude here. So, number nine. So, that's one, two. Oh, that man closed the door. Understandable, but that's that kind of scared me. Six, seven. And there's the mom and the other person. Bro, where's the mattress at? I said there was a smell kind of musk. Yeah, that's how motels smell. Where are you gonna sleep at? The floor. Wouldn't that closet open? Oh! 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 Who are you? Bruh! Bruh! Who is you? I'm Tommy, room service here at Rodway Inn. Also, this place is called the finest stopover in Norwood. Why are you smiling? No, no. Guys, guys, seriously, seriously. Why is he smiling so, so happily? You know, cleaning stuff. He <laughs> he What? I'm gonna ask to ask you to step outside while I make the room. Alright, that'll do it for this video. I'm gonna try to play the rest of this next time when I'm streaming. But whew, this is one creepy game. Yes sir, yes sir it is. I want to thank y'all for 1.6K. Guys, seriously, I appreciate y'all so much. We're about to hit 2K 
Uh, I appreciate everyone who who hits that sub button, hits that like button, and comments whenever they can. It means a lot for these videos I've been trying to make. Uh, this year, I've just been trying to really niche down on things and just just basically be a gaming channel. I'd still do tech videos, but in the form of gaming technology, uh, and then for the gaming side of things, I stream on here, and I also make um, uh, gaming videos on pretty much any game that's pretty much popping off or any horror games because. The horror niche, as much as I hate scary games, I do enjoy playing them. But this one in here was definitely very terrifying. I don't feel like I can continue. Um, but, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.